Okay, guys, so here is another soap to cut up, and this is a restock, and it's a double batch. Um, but half of it is already sold, so, but there still will be, I still have a regular batch available, and this is Root Beer Float. And I'll get back to cutting it up here for you. I'll just cut one log for you. I, I'm sure I've done a cutting video of this before since it's um, a restock, so I'll just do the one log. Now this soap is sweating on me on the top, and I think it's because I added some uh, coarse natural sugar there on the top. And it is humid because it is, um, you know, the days are warmer here now. So it is, um, you know, we have some humid days there. So, you know, in rain, spring, rain. And so, so it is sweating. This smells just like, to me, it smells just like an old-fashioned root beer, you know? Not, not, um, not too sweet, you know, like the commercialized root beers we have now. It's like the old-fashioned. I've made root beer before in the past, and um, my husband's grandfather, my father-in-law, makes root beer, homemade root beer, and that's what it reminds me of is that kind of root beer. Real old-fashioned homemade root beer. There's the top there. And you can see it's a little, got a little bit of darkness in there, so that little bit in the middle should still turn, you know, a little bit darker. Kind of funny, though. The whole outer edge isn't, but it also was sealed up tight in this plastic, so. Don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do that last time, but anyway. Sometimes they just do what they want to do. Doesn't matter. You can make them exactly the same way you made them before. And they will do something a little bit different. Almost five ounces.
birds are singing away. I don't know if you guys can hear them on the camera, but I love listening to the birds. It's not quite enough to get three bars out of. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So I'm just going to go for, it's not quite enough to get three bars. Um, so I'm going to cut off a sample here, see what we're left with. Oh yeah, they'll just be like just tad over five ounces each. That's okay. Oh, that's my favorite ball. I like the pattern in it, and it came out like five point three ounces, so but I, I like them nice and chunky like that. Okay. Take it down here. There is root beer float. And here is what the bars look like. And it does have a sprinkling of that, that coarse sugar there on the top, along with just a touch of cocoa powder. And I did get 15 bars out of that, so that worked out perfect. And here is the mini loaf of that. And I did make, oh, here's the... Um, I didn't make any samples. I, I, I ended up, I don't know why, but I didn't have enough to pour my little square samples. But here are the end cut samples. And um, I did make the, some soap ruffles. Now these are sweating too. You can see they're a little wet there, but I'm hoping, um, I'm putting them in an area that's very dry and I'm hoping that will, a lot of times, I've had it happen before with other soaps and it, so, it sucks it right back in. Um, you know, or it just evaporates off or whatever, and then it's fine. But So I'm going to try that, and if that doesn't work, I'm actually going to um, get a little dehydrator and just um, put the dehydrator in the case where I have these curing. So um, so those are the soap ruffles, and those will be available on the website. And I only have a couple. I'm looking. I only have, I think, four of those. And then I did make some little mini cupcakes this time. Um, I finally got some little mini cupcake um, molds there and um, see they're sweating on the top so uh, it does need to be dried off but and then some more sugar sprinkled on I guess. I guess the sugar is attracting the moisture or something. But anyway there's the little minis and I'll put these down here so you can see the difference. This is the regular size. I made some of these two. What have I got there? I've got one, two, three. I guess I've four, five. I think I've got five of the little mini cupcakes. One, two, three, four. And then I've got six of the regular size cupcakes. Which, and I'll weigh these for you right now so, so I can tell you. Oh, poke my finger in. Okay, so the mini cupcakes, let's see what they weigh. 
Yeah, so not quite two and a half ounces. So let me get another one here. See if we get the same result. Yeah, so not quite two and a half ounces on the mini cupcakes. This one's here. This one here is going to either be ours or put up for a discount. Cause see, I ran, I ran my finger through it by mistake after I frosted it. So that one's ruined. So I guess there's only four of those minis available. Um, and then the regular cupcakes weigh. What is weigh? Yeah, so those are five, you know, a little over five ounces. Um, and there's the difference between the two of them. Oh. So it just gives you an option of having, you know, these little mini ones are really cute. And they're good for, you know, party favors or, you know, in the guest bathroom or something. So, all right, that's Root Beer Float, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.